What's up everybody, this is Craig. And Dan. And we're gonna be reviewing Street Fighter 3 Third Strike uh, through this hurricane. I still have power. Yeah, he still has power, that's why I'm here. It's gonna be incriminating to me, by the way, because I told my school that I probably won't have power, so I'm not doing any homework. Well, you just <laughs> got power back, and it's Sunday night. Yeah. I mean, all Monday right. night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alright, so we'll start off. This is the title screen. Um, I love this game. Uh, I have a couple complaints, though. I would have given this game a 5 instantaneously, but uh, there's a couple things wrong with it. Alright, and this is cool. Every time you you go past the title screen, it shows a random character with like this really cool new age high definition art that they have of the characters. Hugo's there. So this is the main menu. Um, DLC, they only have right now stuff that you can unlock in the game. Um, there's the single player modes, which have arcade trials is new. Training mode is the same as it was in Third Strike, um, the, the original. And challenges and vault. Um, arcade mode is your classic arcade mode where you play through and you you gain um, you know some of the bonus. You gain these things called VP in this one, which is new. Uh, it's kind of like your currency that you can spend in the vault. Um, uh, you gain that for doing completing any challenges. If you go into challenges, they have uh, this is the single player challenges. They have arcade. They say like Akuma Master, to unlock that you need to finish arcade mode with Akuma. These are very simple ones, very straightforward, but they have a lot like God Slayer, which I got at my house we're on Craig's record, but it's defeat Gil without him using resurrection. That means you have to defeat him without him actually gaining a full meter, because um, he resurrects automatically once he has a full meter. Um, Mystery Man is defeat Q, if anybody doesn't know, I'll give you a little hint right now, in order to fight Q in third strike you have to defeat the first eight people without losing a round. Um, human auto record, you complete the car crash. They have a bunch of these little challenges now wrapped up into the game, which kind of make it a little funner, like super artists use 15 super arts in a, ma uh, in a match. Button masher means mash out of stun, like when you get stunned, if you hit the buttons really fast, um, you get out of it. And there's, there's tons of these things, which constantly make you accumulate these uh, VP. You can also repeat them if you get them. If you notice the little um, mark on the bottom means that you can repeat it. If you uh, if you complete it once, you can complete it again. Sticks and stones is kind of cool. You get a achievement for that, but it's win around by using a taunt. Because in Street Fighter Third Strike, uh, taunts not only hurt you sometimes, but they also increase your damage and stuff like that. So they're actually kind of useful. Sometimes when people taunt, they're not actually just trying to be a dickhead. Uh, Trials is a new thing about the Street Fighter Third Strike, which is really cool. Um, they have each individual character's trials. I'll just go through a couple of Makoto's real quick, just because I'm most familiar with Makoto. But, um, it's, if you see, they have Standing Short and then Hayate. Um, the cool, the cool thing about, um, about, um, Third Strike is it uses the actual pro terminology for the game, not the normal high, low, light, medium, hard punch. They actually use the, uh, jabs, uh, jab strong, fierce, short forward roundhouse, which is the technical terms for, um, for the moves. Okay. And Dan is having an execution nightmare. Oh, my buttons are probably messed up. Uh, the controls are cool. They automatically go to each button as you press it, so you can just go really quickly through them and change them the right way. Oh, EX Hayate. Oops. But, uh, so you kind of get the gist of it. This is the... The timing is a lot tighter in this game than Street Fighter 4, so anybody who's used to Street Fighter 4, um, you're going to have a little bit of execution problems with this off the bat. Um, but you'll get it eventually. Um, so that's just Makoto. They have that for every single character. Uh, they also have these new type of challenges, which are kind of cool. They have the parry challenges. I'll, I just did these for Craig, but I'm gonna try. I'll redo them again. But they just pretty much show you a parry, and you have to try and parry. And um, they give you different types of parries to try. And as you can see, the the load time is next to nothing, which is amazing. So you can just literally. I just went through. I just went through three parry levels in a flash. I'm having a little bit of trouble with this one for some reason. Yay! 
All right, so that's the basic parrying. And then, anybody who's not familiar, the highest level parry, they actually call it Evo Moment. 2004, Justin Wong, uh, Justin Wong versus Daigo. Justin Wong was about to win, and Daigo uh, parried every single move. That you, that was the moment right there, and then won the entire match by a huge combo. Uh, and then handicap trials, they give you like they put you at a disadvantage right off the bat and see if you can win. Like this one says, defeat Chun Li with the Buki with only 50% health on hard difficulty. So they're just tough little things to do. It gets you some bragging rights. You also unlock them just like Street Fighter, like trophies and shit. All right, so that was those are pretty much the single player modes. Training mode has regular training and it has parry training. Which all parry training really is, is you record a dummy, and then you try and survive. Uh, multiplayer. Now you have local match, which is just like any other game, local multiplayer. Your rank matches, um, I'll go into that a little bit after. Player match, it goes into a lobby type of scenario, like uh, like um, any other game. Like if you do this, I'm looking right now for um, for matches that meet. And you can join a lobby, you'll see like 4 out of 8 people, and you join and you wait your turn. And it is cool because you can watch the fights, unlike Marvel vs. Capcom. So you're not just sitting there doing nothing while you're waiting. But see, here's all the matches. And you can just join one. And honestly, right now, that and tournament are the only ways. Tournament is cool, they do the most, um, they do a, uh, single elimination, 8 person tournament. Um... And it's kind of neat. You can watch all the matches as they go on. They go one at a time. But um, that's kind of neat. Like I said, player matches and tournament are the only one you're going to get a match in right now. Rank match, uh, I've gotten quite a few, but they take forever. It's probably as bad as Mortal Kombat <laughs> when it first came out, yeah. which deterred me from even playing the game. So it's very bad. But I have read online that Capcom knows this is a problem. They're addressing it immediately. They've already patched this game once. And they're going to patch it again within the coming weeks. And that is the highest priority on the patch list. Which is cool. Replays. Uh, Craig doesn't have any right now, but I have some on mine. Uh, but what you can do is you look at your saved replays, which he has none. And they actually do have a YouTube upload button. But it's not under the impression that we had first been under that it uploads it to your YouTube. It uploads it to a Capcom YouTube account. In which, like, Street Fighter 4, you could go on and watch them on the game. This one, you have to go to actually YouTube, and you can look at all the videos. And they don't name... I, I named my video, but I don't think it appears on YouTube under that name. I think it'll just appear, like, Makoto versus uh, Remy, which was the one. And then you can watch with friends, which you actually get an achievement for if you do in this game. Challenges. These are a list of the challenges that um, apply to multiplayer. Tournament camp, win a tournament... Um, they have like these are all um, challenges you get for achieving a certain rank in a match they rank you after every fight just like they used to um, that's pretty much it for multiplayer modes like I said rank match is a little glitchy right now um, player match is um, you'll find matches and the same thing with tournament um, I'll tell you right now one of the biggest complaints of people in playing Third Strike, the online, is that they're 14 years behind on the skill tree. Um, I never really played Third Strike very much back when it came out. I played it a little. Um, but I'm not having a ton of trouble online. Rank matches, the ones I have gotten, a lot of them are like very elite people that body me like crazy. But uh, I haven't really been utterly destroyed yet. Um, maybe once by Urine. But um, I, I've won tournaments on the tournament mode, I've won a lot of player matches, I'd say I'm probably 75% under player match, I'm 50% on tournaments, I've only entered two, and I won one, rank match, we just looked, and I think I have two wins and 14 losses, but, like I said, rank matches right now, um, I have played a lot of people that were around my rank that I literally lost to, like, by the skin of my teeth, so it wasn't like it was a big loss, but I've only played for one day, like, third strike seriously for one day, so... If you're winning 50%, 75% of your player matches and even 5% of your of your rank matches, then it's a place to start. You just got to understand the game and you'll be fine. So I'm thinking that a lot of people jump to conclusions saying that you'll be totally outclassed online. Uh, it's more like, just like any other fighting game, you got to get your ass kicked in order to learn how to not get your ass kicked. Um, you learn better that way anyway, trust me. So, um... 
that's pretty much it. They have leaderboards, which, same thing, you can put on the filters for, they have individual characters, like, let me see here, let's go to Makoto, just so we can look at me, because I'm not here. Friends, here we go. I am 279th ranked with Makoto right now. But you can do that for rank wins as well as anything else. Help and options, they have pretty, um, pretty cool, uh, oh, I never even noticed this, how to play. Control, the settings has your, your round time difficulty. I heard somebody complain about this. You can actually switch the filters. Um, you can even put scan lines on, which looks like garbage. I don't understand the GGPO delay, I have to look that up, but I don't know exactly what that is. They have the dip switches unlocked automatically, which is kind of cool. You can make the game any game you want. You can make it so you can't parry in the air. You can block in the air. You can't parry low. Uh, red parrying, which is when you block a first hit and then parry afterwards. Um, you can change the whole layout of the entire game through the dip switches. So um, You can download more switches, by the way, for 80 points. Yeah, or you can lock them naturally. The, the, the both things yeah. that you can download, you can unlock by yeah. just beating the game. With all, like, Gil. So don't be a loser and download Gil. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> yeah. Nobody in 99% of the lobbies you get into in player matches, they you can out... Oh, that's another cool thing I should say. Whenever you make a lobby, you can ban three characters when you make it. You can say, like, no Gills, no Yus, no Makotos. So then, whenever people go, those characters are blacked out in the player select screen, which is kind of cool. Um, how to play? So I basically did that for what? No Kens, no Chun Li's. No Kens, no Chun Li's. No, no Yuns, no Gills. Yeah. You see, no Gills, everyone. That's it. No Gill. And so this is cool. How to play? They have a little bit of a booklet here on. Uh... I went through this yesterday. And they tell you some of the advanced and 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 basic things of the game, which is kind of cool. They give you a little explanation of the the color markers online, which people probably already know. Orange means it's medium, red, uh, red means it's bad, green means it's good. So, my only complaint so far about this game is the online, the ranked online right now is really garbage. Um, I have had a couple of matches where they had a red ping and it was wicked laggy, wicked, wicked laggy, but I went online and they said pretty much you can't, you can't stop a bad connection. So if you're playing somebody with a horrible connection, then it's going to look like, it's going to move like crap. Uh, the GGPO is still pretty good, though. Like, I have, I've had totally lag-free matches. Um, so the ranked the rank match thing needs to be fixed. Absolutely needs to be fixed. This game would have a 5 in a second if that rank match thing was good. But I have to rate it on what it is presented with right now. So I'm going to give this game a 4.5. It should have been a 5. If it came out with, with the 5 on the uh, with the perfect internet, then then it would have been amazing. Also, the other thing is that I wish the YouTube uploaded to your YouTube, but it doesn't. But it's still an absolutely amazing game. In the fighting game world, it is considered to be the epitome of fighting games. If you even listen to the song, it's a new song that they have for this game, but the guy even says it's third strike that counts. Whenever you go into a big fighting game community and they have high-level players, they always say that if you're good at fighting games, third strike is the only game that counts. Because the talent pool for Third Strike is the biggest, and you have the biggest hitters in Third Strike. And it's one of the most technical fighting games out. It is probably the most technical fighting game out. And you can tell by when you try to go in and do your Street Fighter 4 combos, and you find out that they all have one, like four different one-frame lengths in each combo. And you're like, how the fuck do people do this? And you have to look up like special input methods so that you can actually do the combos once. Um, it's pretty intense, but... If you like fighting games, it's definitely a game to get. It's definitely the game for you. Don't get frustrated if you get beat online. Everybody gets beat online. First time I played Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I got beat by a guy who chose three serve bots. And I <laughs> I persevered. So if I could do that, you could do that. So, uh, yeah, four and a half stars. Amazing game. Pick it up. If you like fighting games, you should be ashamed of yourself if you don't get it. All right, so this has been Dan and Craig. Yep. Thanks for watching.